Welcome to this presentation. My name is Mrs Kiriakou. I am Heston School's Whole School Literacy Coordinator and I'm really excited to share all the wonderful things we are doing for literacy at Heston Community School and as well as that explain why we think literacy is so important. Why does literacy matter to us? Reading, writing, thinking and speaking, they underpin success in every subject, but not just in their journey at school. Lacking vital literacy skills holds a person back at every stage of their life. As a child, they won't be able to succeed at school, but also as a young adult, they'll be locked out of the job market. And as a parent, they won't be able to support their own child's learning. And that's why, to us, literacy matters. Reading is fundamental. It has a myriad of benefits for our students, which include their mental health, through the escapism that reading can provide, aiding them understand different kinds of relationships through the narratives and stories they read, opening up a whole world of new words they can explore and learn, therefore accelerating their academic and their social success. Reading improves the quality of our thinking, our speaking, our writing, the way we express ourselves in this world. In fact, a student who reads just 20 minutes a day is exposed to 1.8 million words a year. Furthermore, according to research, student requires at least 50,000 words to be successful. That's why reading as much as you can is so important. And students need to know at least 95% of the words of a text to really comprehend it. This means 95% of the text in an exam, at least 95% of a text in a newspaper or a contract. And that's why, again, reading can expose us to more and more words. And so can reading instruction from teachers. As part of our commitment to literacy, we have created three separate initiatives that work together. Loving to read. Creating reading role models in the school. And strategies to help every student love to read. Reading to learn, which encapsulates ensuring every teacher is equipped with the skills they need to ensure students can comprehend text properly, read better, have a better vocabulary and therefore enjoy the reading process even more. And coupled with that, is oracy, so students can express themselves better. And those three things work together such that better readers are able to think better, speak better and write better. To help realise this loving to read culture, we have subscribed to Sora, an online reading app which includes a plethora of ebooks and audio books for all staff and students to enjoy. We also have an unwavering commitment to drop everything and read such that every Key Stage 3 student gets dedicated time to read. We also have a very well resourced Learning Resource Centre serving as a beautiful environment for our students to read in. As part of our Loving to Read initiative, it's very important to us that teachers, all teachers, all support staff, 
all adults are seen as reading role models. We all share our reading recommendations so students can see these. And here is Mr. Besant's. We also make an effort to update our email signatures to contain our current reading material such that whenever we correspond with our students, they are seeing us as readers and they are more likely then to see themselves as readers. At Heston Community School, we are committed to continuing professional development to ensure that every teacher is equipped so that they can confidently tend to varieties of literacy needs from differing abilities, for example. Every term there is at least one literacy focused training session that staff attend. Weekly, I send out a literacy based newsletter with tips, and celebrating literacy-based news. We are also premium members of the National Literacy Trust, which allows us access to their premium training resources, which we enjoy. To help improve our students' vocabulary, there is a weekly Word of the Week lesson that every student partakes in from year seven to 13. These words are then displayed around classrooms, and tutors and teachers alike work hard to embed these new words into our students' vocabulary. Why not ask your children how many words of the week they know? To help celebrate and share our students' beautiful work, there are monthly literacy-based competitions which students really enjoy partaking in. For example, the Hope and Spring Writing Competition is allowing students to really think about what hope and the hope that spring brings for them. And I really enjoy reading all their entries. More specifically, related to Key Stage 3, every tutor group has their own loving to read class coordinator. And some tutor groups have more than one because they were very excited about getting this role. Through this role, they help me promote literacy even further. For example, highlighted here is the literacy reading tree competition they did and what they actually promoted and coordinated themselves. Teachers reward literacy points to reward literacy achievements. Also, I carefully select competitions for Key Stage 3 to partake in. We make a deliberate effort to ensure our Key Stage 4 and 5 students have access to high quality academic reading material. For example, all Key Stage 5 students have access to dynamic learning. This is a very rich reading resource for many subjects containing academic articles, and articles to do with careers and enrichment. And it's a real good gateway to get students into reading more and exposing them to academic language. The senior sixth form team are also reading ambassadors and that's an important role that they have as being the senior sixth form team. This entails being reading role models and promoting reading to other year groups. Post 16 also enjoy weekly literacy lessons from me to enhance and improve and move forward their literacy skills. As reading ambassadors, here is an example of a poster created by our head boy and girl when they were promoting reading to their peers in our year 12 assembly and this was really well received. I had many reading recommendation requests from post 16 students following. Showcased here is some of the beautiful material I use in some of my word of the week powerpoints and this comes from our year 12 photography students actual work 
where they are now doing a whole project based on the words of the week I then use in my word of the week lessons that every year group gets exposure to. As one of my favourite quotes, Ludwig Wittgenstein once said very poetically, the limits of my language mean the limits of my world. And that's why at Heston School, we are all committed to expanding the horizons of all our students and taking away any limits there may be through literacy so they all thrive. And I look forward to hearing about all their reading, writing, thinking adventures.